If you're looking to buy an action camera right now in mid-2024, these are your best options. In no particular order, Insta360 X4, GoPro Hero 12, DJI Action 4, and the Insta360 Ace Pro. These are all fantastic cameras, and they're so fantastic and comparable that making a decision between them can be rather challenging. So today I wanna to put them side by side, compare to the strengths and weaknesses of each unit, and ultimately identify which one might be best for you. Now, just so you guys know, I am a heavy user of action cameras. I have a whole second channel, and I use action cameras to film every single video. And I'm the kind of person that's very particular. I always want the best setup that's the most efficient, gonna give me the best quality. So I'm very picky with my action camera. And thus I've used every camera on this list and I have developed opinions about them. But before we get into that, let's begin with the, the basics of each camera. So the price. The X4 is by far the most expensive camera on this list, coming in at $500. Now, there is a good reason for this. The X4 is essentially two action cameras in one. Of course, this is the leading 360 degree camera, but you can also use this in single lens mode and use it as any other traditional action camera. And that's a really big deal. Some people might be confused, why not just always shoot in 360 mode? And it's because the end file when shooting in 360 requires extra post processing. And that's fine, a lot of the times you need to shoot in 360 to capture whatever activity you're doing. But other times you simply don't and you just want a regular video file. And that's when the single lens mode really comes in handy because you do not need to do anything special to that footage after you shoot it. So again, this device really is like having two cameras in one, and that's why the price tag here is the most at $500. Then we have the GoPro Hero 12 and the DJI Action 4. These are by far the two most similar on this list, and they're the most affordable, $300, and they're your basic run-of-the-mill action camera. They have fantastic battery life, stabilization, dual displays on the front and back. They shoot in high resolution. They even have interchangeable lenses to give you some protection. And if you don't need the flexibility of also having a 360-degree camera, one of these is probably going to be your best option. And finally, we have the Ace Pro from Insta360. And this camera is kind of in a category of its own. On the surface, it's a lot like the Action 4 Hero 12, but it's $100 more, and it's supposed to be a more premium, more capable alternative. But let's go ahead and move on to the core specs of each camera. This is gonna give you a much better idea of the kind of value and capabilities each unit brings to the table. So for the X4, of course, we have two cameras, and each camera has a half-inch image sensor. The bigger the image sensor, the, the better the final image is gonna look, especially in low lighting conditions. And a half inch image sensor is the smallest out of all of these cameras. It's kind of to be expected because we have two cameras, but aside from that, we do have fantastic resolution here. This can shoot in full 8K video when in 360 mode. I and basically everybody else has been super impressed with the, the quality of the 360 footage coming out of the X4. It's a noticeable upgrade over the X3. And considering the X3 was the best 360 camera on the market, that makes the X4 that much better. And when you shoot in single lens mode, it goes up to standard 4K resolution. And for the GoPro, the image sensor here is ever so slightly bigger than the X4 at 1 over 1.9 inches. But easily, one of the main selling points of the Hero 12 is the 5.3K video resolution. That is less than the 8K in the X4, but you gotta remember that this 5.3K is in a regular flat video format. So the pixel density of the Hero 12 is above average. And being that this is a regular action camera body, we do have the dual displays, one in the rear and one in the front. Although, Keep in mind that the front display here is just for viewing. It's not touch enabled. If you want that, you have to go to the Action 4. This camera, in terms of the form factor, is very similar to the Hero 12. We just have very subtle differences like the touch enabled front display and the, in my opinion, improved magnetic mounting system. Although the maximum resolution here is still at 4K versus the 5.3 of the Hero 12, but the sensor here is substantially larger. It's one over 1.3 inches. And remember, the final image quality, it's really a, a mixture of the size of the sensor and the resolution. And especially as you get towards low lighting conditions, the bigger image size is really gonna come through on the Action 4. And with the Ace Pro, which is supposed to be that more premium option, the image sensor here is large, the same size as the Action 4, but at a higher resolution, 
8K, which even beats out the 5.3K of the Hero 12. Next, I went ahead and gave you guys my opinion of the core feature of each camera. So with the X4, pretty obvious, this is a 360 degree camera. So if you need that functionality or want the option to film in 360 occasionally, the X4, it's clearly the camera for you. For the Hero 12, I think the core feature here is the, the price. It's not super expensive and it's a decent, well-rounded camera. Same thing with the Action 4 because after all, the price tag is the same. But I think there's another core feature of this camera and that's the ecosystem of DJI. DJI hands down makes one of the best wireless mic systems on the market right now. And those accessories seamlessly work with their other cameras, including the Action 4. And with the Ace Pro, the core feature here has to be the image quality. It has both the highest resolution and tied with the biggest image sensor. But no camera here is perfect, they all have drawbacks. For the X4, the price is clearly one of the drawbacks. It's $500, even more expensive than the Ace Pro. And Insta360 also has a big issue with external mic compatibility. Yes, you can plug in external microphones, but you need to purchase a special adapter from the company. So unfortunately that complicates the, the setup and you cannot just directly plug in any mic you want to this camera. GoPro also has the same mic compatibility issue. You need to buy a special adapter from the company in order to use third party microphones. And the other drawback of the Hero 12 is the potential reliability problems. GoPro for a long time have had issues with overheating, stuttering, randomly shutting down. Apparently they tried to fix a lot of this with the Hero 12, but still the reliability, the track record is the worst with GoPro as a company. For the Action 4, if I'm being completely honest, I really could not think of any drawbacks. It's a great, well-rounded camera, a large image sensor, 4K video resolution, the battery life, the price, the image stabilization, it's all, it's all top notch. Even the magnetic mounting system is something I really like about this camera. So yeah, I just really couldn't think of any drawbacks here. Now for the Ace Pro, the drawbacks here are a bit more pronounced. Uh, the price, this camera is 100 bucks more expensive than the Action 4 and the Hero 12. We still have the same mic compatibility issues as with the X4, you need to buy that proprietary mic adapter. And even then you cannot use a USB type C microphone, it has to be via the, the headphone jack. And the other drawback here is the image quality. So the whole point the Ace Pro is more expensive than others on this list is because it's supposed to give you the best image quality. And from what I've seen, that is questionable. The Action 4, even the Hero 12 produce a fantastic final image and it's really hard to, to notice if the Ace Pro is any better. So thus to me, I think it's pretty obvious that the X4 and the Action 4 are the two leading action cameras. Yes, the Hero 12 is very similar to the Action 4, but due to small things like the magnetic mounting system, the touch-enabled front display, the ability to plug in any microphone you want directly into the camera, also don't forget the bigger image sensor, I think it's pretty clear that if you want a normal $300 action camera, the 4 is a better choice than the 12. And that goes double for the more expensive Ace Pro that's really hard to justify an additional $100 over the Action 4. And then for those that will benefit from having a 360 degree camera, the X4 is a great option. It's fantastic for filming yourself, having that invisible selfie stick, and again, it still functions as a regular action camera in the single lens mode. I'll go ahead and leave all these cameras linked below the video if you guys want to check it out. If you enjoyed, I appreciate a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.